have covered so many games in Washington that date way back before you played. And you played a whole bunch of games back at old RFK. I, I used to call it the rickety field for knuckleheads because that's what it was. Because there were a bunch of knuckleheads there, but they made a whole lot of noise. And it was a that creepy old place. Bounced, and it, it bounced. It just, it, the press I mean, it box literally bounced, bounced. bounced. Everything bounced. It literally bounced. And weird, bad stuff happened there. They don't play there anymore. But I cannot express to you, well, you know, you experienced it also, the hatred that that town has, our capital of our nation has, because it's it's the really the only, I know they got the Wizards, but but it's it feel, it's it's a football town, and they hate Dallas with all their hearts and all their souls. And if you give them a shot to save their season, and if you give those players a chance to reach down on what's left of their pride and win one for a coach that I still think they love, because he's a, he's a good guy, and I think he's a player's coach. And again, it's probably time for him to go with Josh Harris taking over the team, and I'm almost certain he will go. But I also think they're going to try to give him a parting gift, that locker room will, because he's been good to those players. So the point is, I'm going to stress again the history of this, that will play because it does get, it gets passed down through the legacies of right. generation to generation. And they've had a yeah. lot of great teams there and a lot of great seasons, and you right. experienced and were victimized by some of those great teams. But I just remind you, the last time our team won a Super Bowl, this man propelled it to Phoenix, to the Super Bowl. But I'm going to remind you, that year, and I know what you'll say about it, but his team that went on yeah. to win the Super Bowl lost twice to a Washington team that went 4-12. and 12. So two of their four wins right. came against the eventual Super Bowl champions. Now, North Turner had left as your coordinator and to he head coach right. Right. Washington. You can say he had the, sort of the inside goods on it. But, but still, I remember because it was my birthday, on December the 4th, that's late in the year. You lost a home game to the lowly Washington. Then I'm going to say the name. They were the Redskins because that's we all. I grew up with the Redskins. But the point was, it felt like the sky fell on December the 4th because you lost to them and you had to pick yourselves up and say, no, here we go. But you got help that year because San Francisco had come to Dallas and embarrassed you at home, 38 to 20. And Steve Young didn't even play. It was Elvis was Gerbach. Gerbach. Remember Gerbach. this? Oh, oh it, was, it was terrible. Yeah. And, and yet, what Gerbach happened? Beat us. Yeah. What, what happened in, the, 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 okay, they go to the last game of their year and they blow a game at Atlanta, who wasn't very good, which gave you back home field. And then they go home for a divisional game and they lost to Brett Favre and Green Bay. These guys own Brett Favre, who was 0-6 in his career against Dallas and had to come to Dallas for the NFC Championship game and fell to 0-7 against Dallas because you, you just beat the stuffing out of those guys. It was 38-27, to and you got to go on and play Pittsburgh, who, who was – Pretty good, but not a great Pittsburgh team. Not like the teams of the 70s. The third one, yeah. yeah. And and you that's the Super Bowl. Voila. So was that sort of the NFL God said, let there be Dallas? Sure. That, that's what happened. But here's the point. Yeah, I feel uh, it again. Yeah, so you see, he, he I'm, I'm the giving you the, with the, the historical one. context. Right. So, so now the, the facts. He gave okay. me the facts. The, the, I'm not saying he's not giving okay. facts, but I don't want to hear right. that God is the okay. reason. Okay, but that, listen. That, stop. Now, now the curse has been broken. The, 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 the NFL gods have said, let there be Dallas. But they can't go win the game for you. They're just saying, they here, we that's just gave right. you this. We just we put it on a metallic silver platter for you guys to go beat your arch rival as a two touchdown favorite. Now you got to go do it. Okay, so what's missing in our locker room right now? This guy is missing our locker room. We don't have a Michael Irvin. We don't have a fire starter. We, we don't have a locker room motivator. It, it, I don't have the ultimate sort of leader in the locker room who can say, this is, this is unacceptable. We're, we're just going to go out here and we're right. going to take care of these guys. Because, look, if you come roaring out of the locker room and you take the ball and let's say you win the toss and say, give us the ball and go down and score, you, you can just put them away. You, you, right. th they'll lose their will pretty quickly. Right. But, right. No, they're, they're going yeah. to fight. Skip. They're, they're yeah. going to fight because it, it is Washington and, and it's Dallas. But, but if you're Dallas and you're looking at this, you, you, you have to say, if someone said to you at the beginning of this season, this is what it comes down to. You're going to play Washington for the number two seed. Oh, Fran had the number one seed. And you're going to have everything you want. 
right there in front of you, outside of having that first week bye since we're not under the old system. If you were under the old system, both of those two first seeds would have that bye. Under that system, we had... You had two, you had two, two buys. You had two. But right, right. But, but outside of not having that buy, this lays out perfectly. This lays out perfectly. Now you have to go take care of business. Remember, you got to exercise that demon. You don't get a chance to do it in this league without exercising your demons. And here it is right now on the road. You have to go beat Washington, and it is. But a everything tough team. that you say, Michael, is it registering in the coach's office? Though, is it registering with Jerry Jones? Do they understand that certain guys got to play? Do they understand those things? Or are they still mulling over whether no. or not certain guys are going to play? No, no, because I, 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 this game goes off the same time that Philadelphia game goes off. Now, Philly played a little earlier, and, and, and Philly loses that game, and you can say, oh, whoa, oh, okay. Then I don't, mind, I, I, I don't I know, I, right, but if he played earlier to lose that game, then you can say, you know what, we got a great week of practice because all of these guys thought they were going to play. Let's pull them out of the game and not let them play. You got, then you get the best of both worlds. You got the full week of practice and you didn't have to play, but since they don't play earlier, they play at the same time because the NFL is smart enough to say, we want to make you play. You got a scoreboard watch. Exactly right. You got a scoreboard watch. You prepare, you win this game, you you're going to win so this you, game. So you so you gonna tell so you're gonna tell me now though, you you feel good if you had two games at home that uh -oh. you could wind up in the NFC championship, although okay. your last several games from an offensive output, you haven't really scored a whole lot of points. And then Seattle at home, Seattle kinda did some stuff to your defense and came down to a last play. A bad play by Seattle for y'all to even win that game. So if you see a Seattle uh, at home or a Detroit again at home, are you not, do you feel comfortable with it? Because I don't feel as comfortable uh, probably uh, as y'all. I, I feel comfortable. I mean, because we, we know what happens at home and when we've done pretty good at home. You and Mike McCarthy might not feel comfortable. Because Mike McCarthy can't stand letting someone come in after you got a second seed and losing at home, too, after that kind of home stand. I understand you and Mike McCarthy not feeling comfortable, but I feel comfortable. You see what I'm saying? Because there'll be changes if that happens. I would imagine there'll be changes if that happens again, is what I'm saying. Keyshawn, we will beat Seattle if we get them at home again. We will beat right. Detroit if we get them at home. There are going again. to be repercussions on the line. Them. Yeah, that is correct. There will be okay. repercussions. So, on the speaking line. of Mike McCarthy, his least strong suit, if I can be nice about it, is he's just not a natural born motivator. He's not a speech giver. So it requires players to get ready without the head right. coach. He, there's no Jimmy and, and, in him whatsoever. Right. And I want, right? I, want, I want to put somebody on the stands for that, that you were talking about. And I meant to do that a minute ago. And that's Demarcus Lawrence. I love the way Demarcus Lawrence has been stepping up now. Yeah. And in certain moments, certain moments, Keith, because you talked about this before. You say, who is that dude that steps in and make a play when y'all need a play made? That, that, that says, forget this, I'm going above the coaches, I'm doing what I need to do. And D-Law has done that a few plays here. I mean, getting, yeah. getting knifing in at certain times, making those plays behind the line of scrimmage. We talk so much about Michael Parsons that we don't talk enough about DeMarcus Lawrence in the role that he plays. And, and, and I believe, Skip, that I, I, I raised my hand and put him in the pot for that role okay. that you're talking about. All right. So, Keyshawn, yes. despite this narrative, we can't win on the road. I'm going to remind you, this did happen this year. It was in this football season. We opened up at the Giants. They had made the playoffs a year ago and won a playoff game at Minnesota. We beat them 40 to nothing at their place on opening Skip, night. Skip, they're on their third quarterback for <laughs> crying out loud. But they were on their loud. first quarterback, and they stop. had just given him his money. Am Will I you right? stop, I'm though? Starting. Come on, hey, man. Hey, a hey, year? hey 40, 40 to man. nothing is 40 to nothing. 40 to nothing yes, with a $40 was million a year quarterback. That was quarterback. fool's, was it fool's, fool's gold, gold, Michael. Hey, Keyshawn. You wouldn't have gave him 20 cents, let alone 40 million. I'm, I'm talking about what they gave him. Yeah. Yeah. They stop. Yeah. <laughs> they had no other choice but to do that, based on the way that he played last year for them. Right. That's, that's and a little bit of the way he played. Based on the way he played for them a little bit last year, they got into the playoffs. They won a little measy playoff game. There was not the same team. They're not better than y'all. Y'all yeah. done scored a combined 88 points against the Giants. Skip. 
Okay, but I'm just number. reminding our team that's that a good number. They, they did this. Ooh, that's a good it was number. 88. Okay. Boy, you know that's a good a sign, number. boy. That's yeah. a good sign. Because number 88 right now, we're going to talk about this. Is he the best receiver in the house? You just spoke his number. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that's just... I'm that ain't got Y'all not playing the Giants. So it has shot. nothing to do with the Giants. Here's the point. Skip bringing up stuff. Uh, no, no, no it, it happened this football season. And right. you know what it else happened? Like you also went and you also, right after that... You went lost to Arizona. Arizona. Okay. Yeah, we I did, know. But we but lost two to... Diggs. We, we lost so now them. you okay. lose Diggs, so that's right. how you lose Arizona. Well, but you don't give Arizona ball. no credit after they went and beat Philadelphia and Philadelphia. Yeah. Maybe so they're, now, wait, wait, so wait, so maybe now, they're no. a better team so than everybody now, giving them. So now so you're going to give them. Get, no, I'm just saying. No, no, Michael. So now you get ready to try to convince me and the people that's listening and watching this show that Arizona's a better team than they were in week two or three when they beat y'all. They're a better team now. No, I'm just saying to you, like I told you, any team can beat any team on Sunday, you said, oh, no, that's not we, uh, no, that's Arizona it. beats Philly, and now what do you want to say about it? Any no, team Arizona, beat Philly. Arizona beat Philly because Philly is not playing well. If you if you flip the coin, if Philly had to play them five times, Philly going to beat them at least four. Mm. Yeah, so with Dallas. What's the okay. Point? What's the point? Is? The, 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 the point is, he trying to tell me something about the Giants on the road, and I'm telling you, you went on the road against Arizona, and they rushed for 222 yards down your throat mm. because your defense... The top-rated defense coming into the season, according to Skip, failed to show up. Mm. Failed to show up. That's okay. all I'm trying to tell you. All right, Keyshawn. So I'm you just, don't want to be on the road. I'm just trying to so tell you. My team, so I'm putting amazing. good pressure on my team. Is my team capable of winning 40 to nothing at Washington this Sunday? You better believe it is. It is capable. Yeah, I, I it has that kind of firepower. Washington's not a I'm good just team. Saying, I'm just saying. You, you're right. telling me something about a team that's not good, Skip. Yeah. Okay, I got they it. Coaches, the coaches probably got a bus ticket out of town <laughs> right after the game. <laughs> they already done fired the defensive coordinator midseason in Jack Del Rio. They, did. they bitched the quarterback that they got to go back to and say, wow. But you're going to try to convince me that the Dallas Cowboys are getting ready to play a good team. That's what you want me to no, believe? No, I didn't say that. Because I wasn't going to believe that. They're getting ready to play a division game. A division game. Yep. And they're division getting, games getting, are different. I, now, that's they're why they're getting the ready to play the Washington play. Commanders. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and for them, for them, this game, this game is so vital that, and they need a victory to get the number two seed. So this, this is a playoff. Like yeah, you it, about it, it is. But will and, they and, step and, up? And playoff team, playoff game, and you get playoff games, you're playing division rivals. It makes it dangerous. I guarantee you Baltimore's worried about playing Cleveland because they know each other so well. Agreed. And Cleveland is so Cleveland may be a late team, but Baltimore may be the top seed, but they know.